Rickland. However, I assume you're going to be uh, taking proxy to mean takes what foreign policy decisions the U.S. wants. Yes, in large part. So I'll use half of NATO for their refusal to get invaded in Iraq. And I was what? So I'll use half of NATO for their refusal to get involved in Iraq and Afghanistan, buying Russian gas to begin with, not outright uh, fellating Israel and only ignoring its crimes. I really don't know why you're making Iran of all countries out to be a moral, peaceable place. This is where they murder homosexuals, remember, and follow a religion that demands they spread it. Uh, first of all, according to Islam, anyone that changes their, the Muslims that I've known, anyone that changes their faith is not regarded uh, too kindly, right? Uh, as too kindly, really, they're not from the Muslims I've known. Uh, where you say where they murder homosexuals, that's domestic policy. I don't give a rat's ass about domestic policy right now. What we're talking about is global war, right? Global war. Sure, any country that kills people based on their personal choice, personal lifestyle, personal identity is wrong. There's no doubt about it, right? Canada was persecuting people for choosing bodily autonomy. Okay. In the United States and Canada, they were giving people lobotomies in 19, all the way up to the 1970s in the United States, right? Okay. So there's domestic policy in every country that is horrendous. The United States has 25% of the world's prison population. Take this, take the whole world, 330 million people here, right? World population, 8 billion and counting, 330 million people, and they have 25% of the world's prisoners. What the fuck, right? In Russia, what were the numbers? They were what was it 300 people that have been put in jail in russia russia that spans 11 time zone population of what 130 million people i think something around there right they've put 300 people in jail three or four hundred people in jail for things they've said online right the uk what's the population of the uk gang the uk in the same amount of time has put over 3,000 people in jail for saying stuff online. Like, really, are we going to look at each country's domestic policy to try to decide if in their geopolitics, geopolitics meaning geography, geopolitics, we should say they morally uh, stand on the right side of history or not? As far as I'm concerned, Yemen is a Muslim country. The people in Yemen have a right to decide their own faith, right? How they want their family structure to be, right? I, I, I wouldn't want to live in a Muslim country because, well, I have certain personal lifestyle choices that may not be deemed acceptable, right? However... When it comes to geopolitics, Yemen is the most, right now, morally standing on top of a hill, right? Relative to most other countries because they are resisting genocide. They are actively resisting genocide, right? That's geopolitics. We're not talking about domestic politics. We're talking about geopolitics, right? And geopolitically, as Norman Finkelstein said, if you're going to give the Nobel Peace Prize or Nobel Prize or whatever the prize was, the hero prize in the world, there would be three groups of people you would give it to. One of them would be the doctors that are working in Gaza. Okay. Second one would be Gazans, Palestinians. And the third one 
would be Yemenis because they are the heroes of the world right this is not about domestic politics this is about geopolitics okay this is about geopolitics <clears throat> 